China's drills near Taiwan, a warlike escalation from exercises last year. China's recent military drills near Taiwan were a substantive and warlike escalation on those conducted last August, despite not including any missile launches, some analysts have said. The drills were launched in retaliation to Taiwan's president, Tsai Ing-wen, traveling to the U.S. and meeting the U.S. House Speaker, Kevin McCarthy. Beijing, which claims Taiwan as a province despite that being rejected by its government and people, declared the meeting a provocation by Taiwan separatists, enabled by the U.S. Shortly after Tsai landed in Taipei, Beijing announced the almost immediate start of three days of military drills. The People's Liberation Army, PLA, and Chinese state media described them as practicing encirclement of the island and pre-invasion attacks. They carried out drills or simulated direct strikes on Taiwan from the sea, air, and China's mainland, and conducted multiple incursions over the median line, the de facto border on international waters of the Taiwan Strait. Reuters reported a standoff of 10 ships from each navy at the line. It was the largest show of force since the drills launched in response to McCarthy's predecessor, Nancy Pelosi, visiting Taipei in August. Those exercises, which took place over eight days, included 11 missiles fired over Taiwan into the sea, and blockade-style tactics that disrupted air and sea traffic. A giant screen at a restaurant in Beijing shows news footage of the Chinese military taking part in exercises around Taiwan. A giant screen at a restaurant in Beijing shows news footage of the Chinese military taking part in exercises around Taiwan. But some military analysts have said that this weekend's drills were more specific about China's intent to annex Taiwan, demonstrative of a pre-invasion attack, and raised the risk of miscalculation and escalation. The PLA are getting less loud and more muscular in the way they shape their signaling, said Alessio Padalano, professor of war and strategy in East Asia at King's College London. A big show of force raises the tolerance of what is normal to accept in a military sense. But specific tailored activity is indicative of clear intent and that's the more troubling. These ones, smaller though they were, reflected a specific configuration that more clearly identifies steps just short of an invasion of Taiwan. On Monday, before the drills had finished, Taiwan's foreign minister, Joseph Wu, told Bloomberg he believed they were similar in intensity. A former legislator turned commentator, Guo Jingliang, told local media that the drills may not be as obvious as last August, but seemed closer to the actual state of war. Other Taiwanese military figures and analysts pointed to the deployment of the Shandong aircraft carrier as cause for concern. Chang Yenting, a retired Air Force lieutenant general, told CNA the eastern waters were now clearly under serious threat. From Saturday morning until Monday evening, the PLA sent 232 warplanes towards and around Taiwan, inside its air defense identification zone. The ADIZ is a large area far beyond sovereign territory, monitored for defense purposes. This compared with 167 during the Pelosi drills, although higher activity was recorded for days before and afterwards, and set a new normal for the months to come. There was a huge diversity among the aircraft reported inside the ADIZ this time. Monday's cohort included 13 different types, including five models of fighter jets, a reconnaissance drone, transport planes, nuclear-capable bombers, and refueling aircraft. The aircraft carrier Shandong, which led drills in the western Pacific Ocean for the first time, launched J-15 fighter jets towards Taiwan hundreds of times to simulate direct strikes on the island. Open source information has suggested many of the ships this weekend sailed inside Taiwan's 24 nautical mile contiguous zone where they were confronted by Taiwan's navy, but did not enter its sovereign waters. The movements of the Shandong-led carrier strike group first seen sailing past southern Taiwan on Thursday, in hindsight an early clue of the drills to come, drew in other international parties. Japan confirmed it had scrambled its air force in response, and the U.S. Nimitz aircraft carrier stayed in the region. 
Blake Herzinger, a research fellow at the USSC Foreign Policy and Defense Program, noted that no more than 12 ships were reported by Taiwan in the ADIZ on any one day, and a real encirclement contingency would probably see 20 times that. He also said the several hundred fighter jet takeoffs from the Shandong over three days revealed a big advancement for the PLA from even five years ago, but was still fewer than a U.S. carrier could do in a day. But what we saw is a bit more realistic, comprehensive, pulling together more capabilities and highlighting some things, th.